Good afternoon, friends. This is Sergey Kromchenko, and this time we're in Big Bear, California. But regardless of that, don't forget to subscribe and hit like button below if you do like the guy, if you do want to help him out. Anyways, regardless of that, we are going to talk about NVM today. What is NVM? Why do you need to use it? And I'm going to walk you through and show you exactly how you can install it and start using it. Let's go. So what is NVM? Uh, NVM is the Node Version Manager. And if you're working with the Node.js or with the JavaScript, you probably have heard about it and you probably have heard that a lot of people are facing issues with the versions. That you have to have version 13 or specifically 14 or 15 or 16 or maybe you're still in 12. Who knows? But there should be ability to easily switch between version a and version B, and that's where NVM comes handy. NVM is the Node Version Manager. It's a software that allows you to switch just like that from version 12 to version 13 or 15 or whichever version you want to use. And what you have to do is you have to only install it once, and then you can switch versions just like that. So why do you need to use it? Well, you already know what, what benefits come in from it, right? You know that you can switch versions just like that. And also sometimes, uh, I mean, most of the time, you will have specific version used in specific application in your, uh, on, your local, on, your on your local repository. So that's when it comes handy because you can set it up in that way that you, whenever you switch from one folder to the other folder, from one application to the other application on your local, you will automatically switch it and update or downgrade a version of Node depending on the needs of the application. That's quite awesome. And a third one, how do we install it? Let's follow the directions. All right, friends, now it's a time to install NVM. So first, let's type in word NVM in our terminal and make sure it's not installed yet. Awesome, then we're gonna go to github nvm-sh uh, slash nvm, but I'll send you a link. I'll show you a link and all of the commands in the description below under this video, so no worries. When you get here, you scroll down until you see the command install and update script. So we're gonna copy this one. We're using curl if you, we are on Mac, and we're using wget if we're on Linux. Since we're on Mac, let's just proceed with the curl and run that command. So it's going to install it, perfect. All right, now we need to find out if we are using Z shell or the bash or a bash RC, which profile do we use? So you can simply do that by running echo dollar sign and shell capital letters and i'm using zsh which is z shell perfect that means that now i simply need to copy this line of code and edit the profile perfect so whatever you have in your in your profile you need to keep it there uh, by the way i'm using vim and with the vim i just pressed uh, letter I on a keyboard. And as you can see, now I'm in insert mode. So I'm gonna hit enter and paste the code right below. I'm gonna copy this code right here, paste it here, escape, shift colon, WQ for write and, uh, write and quit. Awesome, now let's type in NVM again, and it's still not found. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna open a new terminal because it needs, to, uh, it needs to be set. So now we're gonna type in NVM and boom, you see a lot of helper text here. So NVM use 13, perfect. Now you're using node version 13. Let's make sure that is correct, node minus V, 13. NVM use 14, how about that? Perfect, now you're using node 14. Let's double check it, minus V, perfect. V14, 15, awesome. And if you ever try to use node version that doesn't exist, for, ex for example, I don't think I have in 15 installed. Uh, let's say NVM use 15, it's gonna tell me you need to run NVM install 15 to install it before using it. So I'm simply gonna copy paste it, 
wait for a couple of seconds slash minutes depending on your internet speed connection mine is already done uh, perfect now you're using node version 15 let's see node minus v 15 perfect I'm gonna come back to uh, 14 since that's the one I've used before oops I meant NVM use 14 there we go node minus V and we're back to version 14 awesome this is how we do it um, now you guys all are up to speed with the NVM you know what it is when do uh, when do you need to use it why do you need to use it and how to install it I want to thank you for your time uh, please give me a big fat thumb up one more time if you did not do it yet and I'll see you again